Good Thursday, everyone. Our weather map today looking a little bit more active in our part of the country. High pressure that has been so firmly in control in the east is beginning to lose its grip and slide east, and that's going to open up the door for rain showers to sneak in from the west. And it is just rain showers for now, and but most of today is looking dry. I think the rain will hold off till after dark. But then as we go through the night, those rain showers will be increasing in, in coverage, it looks like. Rain showers to the north up across the northern plains, changing over to snow across North Dakota and Montana. And speaking of snow, my goodness, feet upon feet of snow falling in the mountains out west as that powerful storm system continues to bring very heavy mountain snows and heavy valley rains. Look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Clearview Closet and Blind. Visit them at closetandblind.com to see how they can offer organizing solutions and window treatments for your home. Lots of clouds today. More clouds than sun. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. I told you to soak up that sun the last couple of days, right? <laughs> Rain comes in tonight, and that stays with us through, well, stay tuned. 90% chance is Friday, Saturday. Dropping off a little bit on Sunday. Much of the daylight hours of Sunday might be all right. But that morning and that evening and night looking very, very wet. But the day Sunday might, be not, might not be too shabby. We'll see. Monday, back up to 90% chances. But look at those mild temperatures. I mean, that is mild for this time of the year, folks. And southerly winds um, gusting today for sure. Today looks like the windiest day. And again on Monday. So both ends of this five day are very windy. And then just some breezy conditions for Friday and Saturday with a few gusts in there. But, um, but again, mild temperatures. So any of the winds you feel are going to feel warm. Check out the new graphic brought to you by Premier Generators. This is a severe weather threat levels. This is Thursday through Monday. And right now there's no current threats apparent. Um, we are going to get a lot of rain. Looks like anywhere from one to three inches, depending on how it all sets up. That should not create much flooding because our grounds be, has been able to dry out a little bit, and it will dry out even more today. And the rain comes over an extended period of time, and so I'm not looking like a real flat, not looking at a real flash flood threat. Certainly not looking at any severe weather at this point. Monday might be a little questionable for a strong storm, but that's that's on the fifth day of the five-day outlook. So we'll just monitor that as we get closer to that time. But right now, it looks like there's no threats. But again, your uh, new severe weather threat graphic brought to you by Premier Generators. On this day in 1835, a severe cold wave gripped the southeast U.S. Eight degrees at Jacksonville, Florida. Zero at Savannah, Georgia. Orange trees were killed to the roots. In 2009, snow falls at levels above ele elevations of 11,000 feet on the big islands Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea in Hawaii. And they do get snow over there occasionally. Sometimes they even get blizzards in those highest elevations of those Hawaiian mountains. So an interesting state for sure. Don't forget the movie Twister coming February the 17th. That's a week from Saturday night. 7 p.m. Tickets five bucks at the door. Proceeds benefit my space camp this summer. And Weather and Wine, we still have about 10 tickets left to Weather and Wine. Those tickets are 30 bucks. You can find those on Eventbrite or just reach out to me. Class starts at 5, ends at about 6.30, and you get to learn all about weather and climate's impact on the grape industry, and the, which in turn affects the wine industry, and uh, we'll do a couple of experiments, and uh, it's, a, it's a good class and a good time supporting creative compassion. You folks have a wonderful Thursday and keep looking up for more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.